The Russian military command sent part of its units from the direction of the city of Chasev Yar to the Kursk region to stop the advance of the Ukrainian army. The U.S. Institute of War Studies has released information about this. It is noted that Russian military command has redeployed units from the Bakhmut direction to the Kursk region to counter the Ukrainian armed forces operations. The report references a statement by a Russian military blogger, who claimed that the Russian 11th Airborne Brigade, previously active near Bakhmut in late July 2024, struck a Ukrainian armored vehicle in southern Ruskaya Konopelka. The ISW speculates that the Russian military command likely redeployed elements of the 11th Airborne Brigade to replace or reinforce frontline units, rather than using them in ongoing combat operations. The Institute for the Study of War previously noted that such redeployments could impact the pace of Russian offensive operations. However, it may take several weeks to assess any potential effects of these redeployments on Russian operations in the Donetsk region. ISW continues to assess that the Russian military command is likely extremely averse to pulling Russian military units engaged in combat from higher priority sectors in Donetsk Oblast due to concerns about further slowing the tempo of Russian operations in these directions, the report stated. ISW has previously observed additional indications that Russian authorities are largely relying on an amalgamation of conscripts, irregular Russian forces, and regular Russian forces redeployed from lower priority frontline areas in Ukraine to counter the Ukrainian incursion into Kursk Oblast, the ISW report stated. Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to the border with Ukraine a day after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station about a third of the country's troops along the border, according to Associated Press. The Belarusian military has deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the Radio Technical Corps, Major General Andrei Lukianovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television. He called the move a significant increase. Associated Press recalls that the Belarusian army has a total of about 60,000 troops. Recently, Lukashenko said that Belarus had redeployed almost a third of its army to the border with Ukraine. This is due to the fact that there are allegedly more than 120,000 Ukrainian soldiers there. In his opinion, Ukraine believes that Putin will again attack from the territory of Belarus. After the invasion of Ukrainian troops into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, Lukashenko began calling for negotiations. Ukraine has not confirmed the Belarusian deployment to the 1,084-kilometer common border. Russia has used Belarus which depends on Russian loans and cheap energy as a staging ground for its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, moving its troops through Belarusian territory to attack Ukraine from the north. Russia also moved some of its tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus in 2023.